Nation. Do not feed Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Greetings and welcome to X Play, the show that enjoys blowing things up. And today we have a gateman, which you blow up everything, including dinosaurs and cuddly animals. That's right, it's the sequel to Serious Sam. Plus, we review a strange graffiti game. We take a sneak peek at a PS2 title that debuted at the Tokyo Game Show. And the 80s live on in a Cold War game. Plus, later in the show, we review the brand spanking new Rainbow Six game, Lockdown. Will you want to give Tom Clancy more of your money? I will tell you. But we begin with the sequel to a cult first-person shooter, Serious Sam 2. The original Serious Sam was one of the first contemporary shooters to bombard players with wave after wave of enemies. If your blood pressure didn't spike off the charts while you were playing it, you probably were already dead because of a Sam-induced heart attack. Now first, there was a spin-off, which was Serious Sam The Next Encounter. And now, there's an official sequel. Here's our preview of Serious Sam 2. Everything in this game explodes into delicious, meaty chunks. And it was made in Croatia. I don't know what the significance of that is, but I thought I'd pass it on. Oh, you're like a walking encyclopedia. I am. That's why I smell like book glue. Up next, a game about graffiti. And it's not Mark Echo's Getting Up. No, it's much, much weirder than that. Here's our review of Graffiti Kingdom. Yes, yet another totally average game. And yet, Adam and I know that some of you will still want to play it. So for the love of heaven, don't buy it, rent it. Somewhere, like Gamefly.com. They have hundreds of games that you, you can rent or buy so that you can save money for the things that really matter. Like getting LASIK surgery, more sex change. Sex change? From what I hear, they're very expensive. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. I really didn't see that movie. I only saw the fight scene in the Turkish bathhouse where the current governor of California was naked. That was enough for me. Oh, the governator is finely chiseled anus. Ooh. Welcome back to X-Play. We play games set in ancient China, ancient Rome, and ancient Greece, but now it's time to play games set in a far more terrifying time, the ancient 1980s. Yes, finally, Cold War nostalgia has washed over the game industry, and now it's time for you to play a spy in the era before Glacius. Here's our preview of Cold War. Now just to reiterate, this is the preview version of the game. Now the voice acting and AI will likely be totally fixed by the time Cold War comes out. Although, to be honest, I kind of like the guy who said, I can put him into dreaming by hitting him from behind. It, it sounds like poetry. I can put you into dreaming. Don't make me put you into dreaming! Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. And as you can see, it's working out so well. <laughs> Welcome back to X-Play. A few weeks ago, Morgan and I flew to Japan to attend the Tokyo Game Show. And while we were there, we caught a trailer for a new action-adventure game for the PS2. Apparently, in it, you fight the Yakuza, and shop, and then fight. And we can't pronounce the title of it. Here's the trailer for Ryuga Go Toku. Good try. Thanks. You know, times like this, I wish I spoke Japanese. Not really enough to actually do anything about it. Me too! Yeah. And we assume that this game will make it across the Pacific two shelves in the U.S. at some point. But it piqued our interest because, frankly, it's a new game for the PS2. Yeah, so while Sony is focusing its efforts on the PS3 launch, it falls to the third-party developers to keep the PS2 alive and start with games until Sony's next-gen console hits the market in spring of 2006. Now stick around. We have squad-based mayhem when we return. Ding Chavez, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Ding Chavez. Ding. Ding. Welcome back to X-Play, home of five million Tom Clancy games. Yes, there are a ton of games based on the books of Tom Clancy. And now there's another one. And knowing the Rainbow Six fans, they can't wait to pick up a copy of it. But should they? Hmm. Find out when we review Rainbow Six Lockdown for the Xbox. Yet another solid Rainbow Six game. And I got to say Ding Chavez repeatedly. Ding! Sorry, Jack Ryan. Ding just sounds better. Ding! Ding! And we have just enough time for viewer mail. Today's viewer mail is from Keith W. He writes, I just finished watching Adam's G4 special on sex and games. I thought, since you guys do a review show, you might as well show the ESRB ratings on your show. I rarely see the ratings of the games you guys review. I don't think he's very much 
No, no, no. We actually do show those ESRB show ratings. Yeah, we should bring up. Let's bring Beginning up our little. Yeah, yeah, there right. we see, go. See? It's right there. It's right there. Do you, do you see right that? There. Do you see that? It's right there. It's it's this M. Um, also, this is an Xbox. Yeah. So you also have the console that it's for the PSP, yeah. the DS. So there's quite a bit of information right there in that little thing. I think that our content is so mesmerizing. It is. They just they miss the outside part. Or maybe he's like closes his eyes when that happens. You right. said a natural reflex. Like, oh my God, the review's gonna be over. I need to save the moment from within the review. So that would be very unlikely. But it's a good thing, I, you know, parents are watching with their kids. It's not a bad idea to check out the ratings when the kid asks for the game. You can say, no. Parents who are watching with their kids should, well, think about watching this show with their kids. I don't know. I, I'm just saying. I, 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 you said anus today. I know, I enjoyed it. She did say anus today. <laughs> I mean, it's, kids say anus. Come no on, no one fun. will get mad. Yeah, it's, it's scientific, so, so, so you can get away with it. Exactly. Same thing with penis. Oh. <gasps>